Welcome back. Well, up to 39 train stations will be repaired this year in order to bring them back to operational status. The Philippi train station in Cape Town is one of these. The station runs on Cape Town Central Line that stopped working in November 2019 due to vandalism. Now, Transport Minister Fiki Lembalula says about 7 billion rand or so will be invested in refurbishing the station. So for more on this, I'm joined now by Lena Ramatlakane, who is a PRASA board member. Dr. Ramatlakane, thank you so much for your time this morning. Let's talk to us a little bit about the, the state of our trains before we go into the central line as well. But how are we faring in being able to refurbish and being able to bring back the rail system into its one or once most coveted time? Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Faith, and good morning. Uh, you know that uh, a week ago, we were in Mabupane. Mabupane was one of those stations that is part of the national priority. And you know that uh, we uh, launched Mabupane. Mabupane is back. The new blue train uh, is now working between Mabupane and Pretoria Station. Uh, now we have a program, national program that we are running, as you know, that we identified a key station mm. that must be online uh, in the financial year 2022-2021. Uh, and we are also going to line up the, again, 10 stations that must be online in 22-23 in this uh, coming financial year. So all of these stations are stations that were part of uh, vandalism that has taken place, including the um, uh, basically people coming and helping themselves. Yeah. Now we have a program to bring back uh, the, the, the rail, not only the rail, the train itself, and the new one that we are building in the Nota in the in the in Guruleni. All of those uh, you you can see that we are serious at work in making sure that um, we bring people are struggling without a public transport, in particular a train and rail. So that's what we have as a program. Yeah, but then in terms of just the cost structure and a cost plan, we keep saying that it's going to cost about 7 billion rand. Is that so? <clears throat> well, 7 billion is a different program, right? Uh, I heard you saying that. 7 program is to refurbish and pay a repair of all the uh, coaches, the coaches, whether it's a minor or major repair. Yeah. That is what uh, the minister spoke about, the 7 billion. Yeah. The one on the rail itself, it's, um, it's also in the billions. It's also in the billion. Uh, so at the moment, that figures we determine it as we get into a, a rail, a line or corridor that we need to bring back. For an example, we're bringing back Naledi Corridor. That Naledi Corridor, at the moment, it runs one diesel, uh, one train one way and one train one way with a diesel. So we're going to be bringing it back, meaning that we need to bring the electrical back. We need to fix that. That in itself costs its own sets of money in the in the billions as well. So so we're talking um, a sizable amount of money that uh, we need to, to have mm. in order to bring it back. But the determination and that we are clear that all those lines that have been broken have to come back. Uh, because they, they actually is a lifeblood of this economy, including the people survivors. I they rely on, on the. That. I definitely hear that. Uh, hear you on that one um, as well, Leonard. I'm just I'm worried about time right now. But just to interject there. We're speaking a little bit about the central line. Now, the central line, from what we understand, even during the State of the Nation address of the president, it was estimated to cost about 1.4 billion rand that will be allocated to ensuring that it is actually fixed. We've got uh, July was supposed to be the target when this uh, central line was supposed to be fixed. I think the costs now are running in between 2 billion rand, and we're looking at the cost being 2.5 billion rand. So can we just tackle, first of all, what is the cause of this delay where it was supposed to be completed in July already, uh, uh, 2021? And number two, uh, why is it that we're, we're finding that, um, you know, uh, at this moment in time, the cost structure has actually increased? I think it's about 2.5 billion rand as well. Well, if, if you know Cape Town, uh, Philippi uh, is a big station. Philippi is a big station, but it's been occupied at the moment uh, to, the, to, the, to the region of about 6,000 people are living there now. On the, on the station, at the back of the station, on the rail reserve. 
Langa, it's about 2,000, 2,500 in terms of the counting, the last counting. Now, the delay of bringing the central line back into line is about the problem of people who have taken occupation on the rail reserve as well on the rail system itself. We, as you know, we went to court um, uh, last year to go and seek the approval, the application that this, the court must support us to, to evict these people from here so that we can build. Mm. We got that, but obviously the people who are supposed to be the recipients of the people coming from Langa objected to the uh, bringing the people from Langa to that particular area in the East River. And they made a condition that unless uh, we build houses for them and we can't build houses. So we have gone looking for another land, a piece of land, so that we are able to go. So the land is key for us to be able to move the people in Langa because if we don't have the land, in terms of the court order, you yeah. can't move them. We have the court order extended to July this year. Uh, now we have to work a day and night to make sure that whatever land we find, we are able to move the people from Langa there, including the Filippi, and we cordon off the area so that nobody can just cross over the line. That when are we anticipating we have, we have, then, Mr. Rabatlakane, when are we anticipating that this uh, project will actually be completed? Because as the project extends, I'm sure you and I can appreciate that the money also uh, extends. We, we, have a, we have a deadline of July this year, 2022, to have the train running right through to Kailicha as well as Misha's play. That's our, that's our time frame. Yes, the cost overrun will be a factor. But as you can see, the problem that we have here, it is not lack of uh, commitment from Prasa side, but it is a problem that we have uh, people that have made the rail reserve their home. And in terms of uh, if we like to, to do it, we would have liked to do it, but we can't do it because this is part of the human rights issue. So that's why we have been delayed. But I can give you this commitment that July this year, when they're trained to run from Cape Town Central line back in system right through college and we just play. That's mm -hmm. our that's our plan at the moment. All right. Well we'll hold you to that plan. We'll leave it there for now. Leonard Ramatlakane, the Prasa board member, just giving us the latest in terms of that central line. How is it faring? How is it working? And what's the cost structure that is actually uh, attached to it? With that